Creighton still flying high after a historic win over Iowa State in the Sweet 16 last night. The Jays now one win away from a first ever trip to the Final Four. And as Ellie French explains, Creighton's chemistry has been the key behind their championship chase. A late night victory turned into early morning celebrations for Creighton women's basketball. The Blue Jays defeating Iowa State in Friday's Sweet 16, soaking in the win in the early hours of Saturday morning, then returning to the arena 12 hours later to prepare for Sunday's Elite Eight matchup against South Carolina. It's definitely a late night, um, just that excitement of making it to the Elite Eight. Um, it was definitely hard to fall asleep last night and um, you know, obviously there's still excitement there um, being less than 12 hours removed from the game. One of the biggest reasons for Creighton's success this postseason, the love the players have for each other, something that is evident both on and off the court. We have a trip planned in May to Florida and literally the whole roster is going, the whole entire team. Um, that's something that we planned probably like two months ago. So it's been in the works, but it just shows that like we really do enjoy being around each other. And I've had a lot of people comment on how much fun we seem to have when we play. And um, I think that's been a part of our our success and why we're here. Creighton's postseason run has been nothing short of magical. ESPN's basketball power index gave the Jays a 6% chance to make the Elite Eight. Now they're less than 24 hours away from competing in it, but they know facing the one seed in South Carolina will be anything but easy. Obviously, this is going to be a tall task, and it, South Carolina is obviously a really good team. They're a very talented team, well coached. Um, but we just have to stay within ourselves and believe that we can do it. No double digit seed has ever reached the women's final four, but the Jays have already made history this postseason and will look to continue making history on Sunday. At the Greensboro Coliseum, Ellie French, KTV News Watch 7 Sports.